This short video is designed to help our collaborators perform the Alberta P disease survey. Hi, this is Dr. Mike Harding, plant pathology research scientist with Alberta Agriculture and Forestry. I want to show you some details about the survey and give you some important tips on how to collect quality information and how to prevent the spread of weeds, pests, and diseases as we survey. So the first thing to tell you is that the targeted survey window is during the flowering period. If the peas have white flowers on them, then survey away. If they're not flowering, then you're too early or you've missed the correct stage for the survey window. Prepare for the survey by gathering all the materials and supplies that you're going to need. A clipboard with a copy of the protocol and plenty of copies of survey data sheets. Large paper bags. A cooler. A map. A GPS receiver. Disposable foot coverings. Garbage bags. Pens and Sharpie markers. Disinfectant wipes. Latex gloves pruning shears, a digging fork, a spade, or a trowel, a spray bottle with a 2% sodium hypochlorite bleach solution, stapler, insect repellent, plastic sample bags, twist ties, tags for labeling, a boot scrubber, and work gloves. Load this into your vehicle and you're ready to go. Carefully and safely park on the road's edge near the field approach. Do not drive into the field. Avoid parking on busy roads or highways. Enter the date and location of the other information on the survey data sheet. Put on your disposable foot coverings prior to exiting the vehicle. Or you can put on rubber boots that can easily be disinfected after you leave the field. Once your feet are covered, you need to reset your GPS unit and take a reading. Now gather the information that you need to take into the field, such as a clipboard, pens, Sharpie marker, sample bags, digging fork, protocol, and data sheet. Then head out into your first location by walking 50 meters into the field. In total, you'll visit 10 sampling sites within each field. The first site should be about 50 meters from the field edge, and then the other sites along a W pattern at least 50 meters apart. At location one, dig up 10 plants and evaluate them for disease. On the disease assessment data sheet, there are a number of diseases that we ask you to rate. The first is root rot. Using the root rot rating scale, give each plant a rating of one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, based on the pictures shown in the rating scale. You may have to rub off or knock off some of the dirt to see the root tissues. Take the roots from each plant and try to match them with the photograph that you think looks most like the symptoms you see on each root. They may not be exactly the same, but choose the number and picture that you think most resembles the roots you're looking at. Save a few of the diseased roots from each field for diagnosis. Cut off the top, of the plant and place the root in a plastic Ziploc bag and then label the bag with the field location and other information. The next column on the disease assessment data sheet asks you to rate for Mycosphorella blight. Using the Mycosphorella leaf rating guide, examine each of the 10 plants and give them a rating of 1 through 7 based on the symptoms that you see. You might not see something that looks exactly like what you're seeing in the field, but choose from the photograph, the one that you think most closely resembles the symptoms you see in the field, and choose the associated number and record it on the data sheet. Finally, we ask you to give a rating for Ascochyta stem rot. Again, choose a number from one through seven based on the picture that you see in the rating guide. Finally, the last two columns on the disease assessment data sheet are mold and bacterial blight. Here, we ask you to simply look for the presence of those symptoms and record either a yes or no. Then, you've finished at location one. Moving along the W pattern, walk to location number two and repeat this for 10 more plants. Then location three through 10 until you've rated a total of 100 plants and have a rating for each of them for root rot, 
mycosphorella, ascochyta, mold, and bacterial blight. When you visited all 10 locations and rated all 100 plants, return to the vehicle and place any fresh plant samples into an insulated cooler with a cold pack. Then disinfect your tools. A disinfectant wipe for the trimmers or shears works well. If there's a lot of dirt or soil on your digging tools, the wipes may need to be used first to remove the dirt and then a second wiping with the disinfectant wipes to disinfect the tools. Then remove the disposable foot coverings and place them in a garbage bag. Or disinfect your rubber boots using the 2% bleach solution. Make sure that all of the soil has, and dirt has been scrubbed off of the boots prior to disinfection. Then place all of your disposed materials your booties, your disinfectant wipes, and any other trash into a garbage bag and seal it up. And that's it. It's that simple. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you for any help with our important Alberta crop disease surveillance.